Hello, you have come to the channel for sharing comprehensive self-development knowledge through great books. This week, I would like to share with you a very precious book called, Tam Suk Min, which has made my life the way I desired. This is one of the last great works of Inamori Kazuo, a condensed book of his business philosophy and wisdom of life for over 80 years of his life as a Japanese business mogul. The master of life philosophy, Inamori Kazuo, is a familiar name to many book lovers. He has left us many valuable books to contemplate, such as, Living with Integrity, and, Zero to One Challenge. But today, the first book I want to share with you is his last work, which he wrote when he was almost 90 years old. Within just one year, it was translated into 15 languages and ranked among the best-selling books in the world. In this book, Inamori Kazuo has summed up his life experience with one word, which is, Tam, Hearth. With the experience of a successful, happy and wise person, he has told us that everything begins and ends with the heart. Everything you encounter in life is attracted by your heart. When you can cultivate, develop and improve your heart, you will have the life you desire. Now let's share together the core message that I have learned after reading this book. The solid foundation for success is Connect with the heart of the universe. Inamori Kazuo, who came from a humble background, started with two empty hands when he was 27 years old. He founded Kyoto Ceramic Company, which is now Kyocera. At the age of 52, he founded his second company. Both of these companies have developed into some of the 500 strongest businesses in the world. Moreover, at the age of 78, he held the position of chairman of airlines, which was on the brink of bankruptcy and drowning in debt. In just one year, the airline was supported, revitalized and generated the highest profit in its history. So why was he successful in various fields, and what is the fundamental business philosophy that he used to create such success? It is truly unbelievable what he has achieved, which is not just due to his background An exemplary example is receiving an invitation to become the chairman and rebuild the airline company airlines, which initially Mr. Inamori Kazuo refused many times due to his age and lack of expertise in the aviation industry. However, he reconsidered and believed that rebuilding the airline had three important meanings, for the stability of society, the Japanese economy, and the convenience of 32,000 people's lives. If the airline went bankrupt, it would leave a negative impact on Japan's economy, but if successful, it would increase society's trust. If the rebuilding failed, many people would lose their jobs, but if successful, it could protect the lives of over 30,000 people. This is similar to a saying by Confucius that means seeing the meaning but not doing it is cowardly, which is also the compassionate heart of Mr. Inamori Kazuo. He was able to courageously accept the position thanks to his compassionate heart, and within just one year, the airline company quickly recovered. At this point, you may think that this ethical principle is heard too often, and it is difficult to live for the benefit of others. However, you should understand that the deep reason behind Mr. Inamori Kazuo's perspective and reinforce your belief in this perspective for yourself. He believes that deep in every person's heart, there is a calling called the soul, which may be even deeper meaning that the essence of a human being is truly at the core of the human being. This is the purest part of the soul, living with a compassionate heart to create all things, but we have not fully understood this. Therefore, when you have a compassionate heart and reach the depths of human beings, it is also the moment when you reach the pinnacle of life and touch the roots of all things and find the meaning of life. Then, everything you do will develop in a good and happy direction. Therefore, a compassionate heart is essential in each of us. In today's society, there are too many people who only live to satisfy their own desires, crazily seeking material wealth, with a greed that will never be satisfied. Next, let's explore the three principles that Inamori Kazuo mentioned in his book for building a new, happy life, gratitude, humility, and diligence. First and foremost, no matter what happens, whether it's good or bad, we must always be grateful for our lives, even if they don't turn out exactly how we want them to. Inamori Kazuo also says that we shouldn't get too caught up in our successes and pleasures that we forget to express gratitude to those who have helped us. Being thankful for receiving help is something that many people know, but being thankful even when you encounter difficult situations is not something everyone can do. For Inamori Kazuo, difficult situations are an opportunity for individuals to train their minds and souls. Furthermore, giving thanks even in times of tragedy can help us overcome and dispel negativity. Everyone has stumbled in their lives, 
and only through repentance and good intentions can one change the destiny. We cannot avoid pain and suffering in life, but it's during those times that we must overcome them. We should not despair or become despondent because when we fail or encounter difficulties, we are close to reaching our goals. Why not try our best right now and be grateful for the difficulties we encounter? With each new difficulty, we take another step forward, and that's the secret to overcoming the hardships in our lives. Along with gratitude, the second principle is humility. Humility is a protective talisman. With a humble heart, we can avoid disasters. This is like having an extra layer of protective clothing for life. Humans are easily complacent. When our careers are thriving, or when we're slightly better than others, and when we're praised by many, our minds can be easily swayed. Our egos can take off like a kite that has lost its bearings in the sky. If we continue to behave this way, we will unintentionally become arrogant and look down on others. As a result, our lives can veer off course. Inamori Kazuo tells us that the things we often believe are ours, such as our thoughts, emotions, and opinions, are not really ours. Instead, they are gifts that have been bestowed upon us by the universe. We must appreciate and acknowledge them, not hoard them. Humility helps us to remember this. And finally, the foundation to build happiness is diligence. After realizing that we need to live and work with a compassionate heart, thinking for others, always being grateful and humble, when facing difficulties, we must fight with the spirit of never giving up. The remaining thing to maintain a strong and happy life and a long-lasting successful career is diligence. Carry with you this belief and living philosophy, and always work hard. You will quickly achieve what you desire for yourself, and these are also the solid secrets to success and the foundation for a happy life. In this book, there are many other profound philosophies of the author. I highly encourage you to read the entire book and draw lessons for yourself.